This is how we left the cube at the end of part 2. Now it is time to optimize it and make some custom animations. First of all, I think the cube is too bright sometimes. It can get really distracting. And changing the brightness is only possible through reprogramming it. Until now. So I added a 10k potentiometer to set the brightness from 0 to 4095 continuously. The process was simple as always. I drilled a hole for the shaft and mounted the potentiometer with a nut. One side of the potentiometer connects to 5V at the switch and the other side connects directly to ground at the DC jack. The middle pin connects to analog pin 4 of the Arduino. And that's it. It was pretty easy to adapt the code. All I needed was another integer, which I called bright, the analog read function and the map function to convert our 10-bit value of our analog read into a 12-bit value for the TLZ. And as you can see it works really well. Ok, next change. I noticed that sometimes my cube does not do what I want. It just goes apeshit. The reason are those precision sockets. Yeah, precision my ass. Look at that, I press the ICs a bit and it flashes however it wants. There are connectivity problems. So I changed the sockets to normal ones and yes, it was horrible to desolder and resolder the sockets. But now everything works fine. These two things were basically all the hardware changes. Now let's take a look at the code. I included a second library called Digital I.O. Performance because the digital write functions we use to multiplex are actually pretty slow. We could make it faster by using port commands, but that would make it look kind of complicated and not beginner friendly. This library actually translates all digital write functions into the port commands without changing stuff around. And here on the oscilloscope we can clearly see the difference which proves that the port commands are around 30 times faster than the digital write functions. Next thing. In the old code I used the integers AAR, BAR, CAR and so on to give a brightness value for all 192 LEDs. And this can get really annoying when creating animations. So I created arrays for the red, green and blue values. Let's test those with a first test animation. We start with red LED 0, which is basically red LED 1, but arrays start with the number 0. And each time the stretch time is reached, the LED value goes 1 up. In reality it looks like this. With this animation you can easily see whether you connected your wires correctly to the PCB. First red LED is down in the right corner. Now green. Well, that was unexpected. And blue? Blue is the same as red, so I just switched the connector for the green LEDs around. And green works as well. Making more complex animations takes more time. Here's one I made which consists of two functions. The red turn on function turns the red LEDs on, obviously, which are defined in the turn on list. And in the wall function is the turn on list of the red LEDs defined. As you can see we have 12 static pictures. At the beginning of each if statement we use the reset function which basically turns all red, green and blue LEDs off. Now I define my red LEDs which I want to turn on, labeled from 0 to 63. And in the last step I use my red turn on function to turn on the lights. After one if statement the integer q which I use here as a counter goes one up and the cube will update and show us the first picture. Then the second if statement gets active and we see the second picture, and so on. And here is the final animation. Let's play around with the colors now. I made a small color change animation which lights up red, green and blue one after the other to full brightness and then slowly dims them until they are dark. And I faded the colors into each other which mixes them up a bit. Really pretty. The last animation is gonna be really simple, but still my favorite. I used the random function of the Arduino to turn on 10 random LEDs of red, green and blue, with a brightness value between 500 and 4095. This shows off the capabilities of such a cube very well, and of course you can control the brightness. 
Now you can modify my code to make your own animations. Feel free to share them on my Facebook page or in the comment section. I hope you like the RGB LED cube project. If so, like, share and subscribe. Stay creative and I will see you next time.